we're going to be looking at the rear view mirror. This is a 1964 Chrysler. 64 is the last year that they used this style of mirror. This one's starting to get some speckling and pepper marks on it. Maybe you can see. And in my parts, I think I have enough pieces to make a better one. So today we're going to remove this mirror. And that's going to require removing the remote control here on the dash. Yes, never mind this hole. This is a Ram car and it has manual chokes and this is the button for manual chokes. So. So, with a simple unscrew of the dash bezel piece, then you can snake the wires out. The mirror control cable runs out of the firewall by way of a rubber grommet. That you can see here, it's right below the uh, hood hinge and then snakes up into the fender to connect to the mirror. Not too difficult to get these out. They're pretty flexible. And here's the mirror removed from the fender. In 64 they used a filler piece. Of course your standard grommet. That was that plug at the firewall. And then your three wire control cable. And that's where it used to be. This particular mirror was a little bit of a rustle to get off because the screws were bent. Maybe you can tell if I rotate it, but there, see? This screw was bent, so it didn't want to come out. We'll give it some attention before I put it back in. If you were to disassemble the mirror, this is what you would have. This is the base piece. This is held on with two screws. Here's your cone. And that's the center port. The center stick that runs up the middle. And these are your three wire controls. Sometimes they still have the color coating on, on them. You can kind of see red, green, and yellow on these. Well, because on the control, it makes a difference which, uh, which wire goes into which hole. Otherwise, if you're trying to tilt it up, it won't tilt up. These mirrors, <coughs> these mirrors were used on the right side and the left side, but they're not completely interchangeable. <coughs> if you look at the base on this one, this is the driver's side. Compare it to the base that I have here loose. This is a passenger side base. See how the wedge is much, much different? So you've got to be sure you're getting the right pieces. The good news is you can work this piece over the grommet without having to take it apart and then slide it down and off of the control. Here are two mirrors but they're both from 64. The one on top is the one that I took off this morning from the Chrysler. The one on the bottom is from a 64 Imperial. You can see the control cables are much different length. In this particular year, the Imperial is shorter. In some of the other years, the Imperial is longer. 
Anyway, if you're working on a Chrysler and you are swapping parts, you want to be sure you stick with Chrysler because the Imperial parts may not interchange quite right. Some years ago, I bought a very nice 62 Chrysler mirror, and that's what I'm going to be using for the 64. The good news is, nowadays, you can buy brand new mirrors from people like Murray Park. I think the price is reasonable, and if I didn't have this mirror, that's what I would be doing. I did have to make one correction here. Uh, at some point, perhaps it was me or when somebody worked on this, the uh, yellow and red wires got switched, so I could tell. You see the little uh, recess here? Well, that means that goes in for the bottom. Eh, there, see it? So, when I would move this to the bottom, it was not going to the bottom, it was going sideways. So, you have to carefully release the pin from this turntable deal and then slide the cable out and I switched red for yellow, yellow for red and now up is up and down and down is all is well with the world. You're going to want to attach a wire to the control lever because when you snake it through the hole here it's going to want to go that way and get blocked by the inner panel. It has to go down and come out over here so you need the wire to help you guide this through. And there's your new mirror installed. The biggest problem I had with this one was getting that triangular shaped rubber grommet to sit and seat back in the firewall. But if it's not one thing, it's another. This is the rear view mirror for 57. I don't think the uh, remote mirror was available in 57. I don't really know. I knew it was by 60, but I'm thinking maybe 59 was the first, and I'm guessing. But you could get a passenger side mirror in 57, and that's what it would look like. 1960, you can see that this piece is entirely different than 61. And no base. Nineteen sixty one does not use a base. Nineteen sixty two does not use a base. Passenger side. This is the optional passenger side rear view mirror for 64. And it takes a base. And it goes without saying how different 65 is. It's actually on the door. 